Alrighty, so they just gave miss gave us our rewards for the first season. I finished up in the championship series. My the highest I was able to get actually was eight. 67 I wasn't able to do any better than that I lost a few games in a row once I got to 867 and I was just kind of going back and forth between like 815 and 850 or so and then I just didn't have time to play anymore so what do we get for this and it also it appears that you don't start from spring training again so they're gonna put me in the wild card 650 so that I guess that guarantees we already get that next tier player if I remember correctly so 650 2000 stubs uh, 9,000 XP, 700 tickets. I'll take it, I guess. I wanted that Goldie really badly. Another thing, too, guys, is that they, uh, I don't think they even, you can't see the, uh, the new rewards yet. No. But apparently they're taking away the diamond from the championship series. And they're giving it to the, um, <laughs> the World Series. So the World Series will now get a guaranteed diamond. Whatever card they're showing, I believe it's a Tony Gwynn, a 96 overall Tony Gwynn. And the championship series will get the earlier tier like card like Liriano this time. I think it's they said it was like a I forget who it was. It's some starting pitcher. I don't remember who. Um, not Dennis Eckersley, but somebody else like an 85 overall pitcher. I, I I'm blanking on who it is currently. And you get two gold players. But let's see what we get in our packs right about now. Our season packs since I'm in this time around. Just the next time we gotta make sure we get to the World Series. All right, let's see what's in this. Let's open that up. Alright, we got a Christian Yelich, which we already have. Adele Batances, which we already have. And this Francisco Liriano. So, unfortunately, we got Batances, who we already have. I don't know what she's going for, but we're going to see if we can how much we can sell him for. Right now, I was really hoping for a Corey Seager. And I already finished the Yankees collection, so that doesn't mean much to me right now. Let's see what we can sell him for. My guess is his value is way down already. Alright, we're going to sell him. If I can if I can get 50k for him, that's pretty good. We're going to sell him for... 55. What was there, actually? 5-5. Five, five. We'll do 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, 55 even. Hopefully somebody will uh, jump on it. If that's the case, if I get that for it, I will absolutely take that. He's probably one of the higher uh, diamond cards right now, still, to be honest. Let's take a look at that really quickly, though, before I uh, back out of this. So I'm looking at some of these diamonds here. Jansen's more expensive. I'm going to probably buy Kenley Jansen really soon, actually. Let's see. Um, let's, look at these low, let's look at these low diamonds, so 93 or lower. The ones that you can get in that pack. Oh, they added this Robin Yout, though. That's a pretty damn good card. <laughs> That's a pretty damn good card. Um, oh, look at this. Andrew Miller from two years ago. That's a new card. New flashback. So, Arenado's more money than Batances. Machado is more money. Scherzer is not. Cindy is. Araldis is. Freeman is not. Kluber is not. Bumgarner's not. Posey's not. Britain's not. Miguel Cabrera is, but honestly, I guess that wasn't that bad of a pull. Honestly, the Batances, although I have it already. He's uh, commanding quite a bit more money than a lot of the other ones. So, not bad. It could have been worse. I could have got like a Wade Davis, you know. So, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, guys. Well, that concludes this video. We're going to have some more videos up. Soon later, I haven't had much time to record, but I will have some time soon. I'll probably get up another video uh, today, tomorrow, and hopefully I will catch you guys then. Later.